things as they truly are. Leoric migrated to Kaduras from the eastern lands of Sanctuary, accompanying the forces of the Zakarum Church. Settled into the small town of Tristram, Leoric was preyed upon by Diablo's attempts at possession, driving the once beloved king mad with paranoia. He began executing all he thought guilty of treason, including his own wife. Confronted by his knights in the wake of such slaughter, Leoric was cornered and killed, his final breath issuing a curse upon his pursuant. <laughs> king Leoric then rose again as the Skeleton King. Leoric is a heavy-hitting warrior who can haunt the battleground even after death. Leoric's trait is undying. When killed on the field of battle, Leoric remains in play as a ghost that can slow his enemies and reduce his own death timer. When his death timer completes, Leoric will resurrect at the current position of his ghost. Leoric's first ability is Skeletal Swing. This massive swing deals heavy damage and slows enemies in a large arc in front of Leoric, including double damage to enemy minions. While in his ghost form, Leoric can continue to use Skeletal Swing to slow opponents without dealing damage. Next is Leoric's ability, Drain Hope. Grabbing the soul of an enemy hero, Leoric deals damage over time while healing himself. Leoric can continue to attack and use abilities during Drain Hope. And in ghost form, Leoric can use this ability to lower his death timer. Leoric's final basic ability is Wraith Walk. Becoming unstoppable and leaving behind his body, Leoric can move around as a wraith for a short time. When this ability ends or is cancelled, Leoric's body snaps to the position of his wraith. In Tomb is Leoric's first heroic option. Like the Waller affix from Diablo 3, Leoric raises a tomb around the targeted area, blocking the movement of enemy heroes and minions. Lastly is Leoric's option, March of the Black King. Parading in a straight line and swinging wildly, Leoric damages anything in his path while also healing himself for every enemy hero he hits. Leoric's skills and trait allow him to excel at controlling the space around him. Be sure to make the most of Leoric's ability to contribute to a fight from beyond the grave. Slow a fleeing enemy. Save a teammate attempting to retreat. Or help contribute to that glorious team combo. In the early portions of a game, the Skeleton King can be a true lane bully. Skeletal Swing does massive amounts of damage to minion waves, while his trait and mobility allow for extremely aggressive play. Keep in mind, even though death does not completely take Leoric out of play, it does reward opponents with full takedown experience. Leoric shines on battlegrounds with objectives that require controlling an area. For example, early game tributes on Cursed Hollow are a playground due to his ability to sustain and harass opposing heroes. After suffering a takedown, he is able to position himself to resurrect and help secure the tribute for his own team. March of the Black King excels at destroying groups of opponents who have low mobility and are clumped up. Be careful though, as enemies with high mobility can easily sidestep this heroic and punish Leoric if he starts swinging mindlessly. Entomb is an excellent option for securing takedowns. As enemy heroes attempt to flee from a teamfight, lock them down so your allies can easily land abilities. Timing and accuracy will be the keys to this heroic, so make sure you use it skillfully, or you might just end up dooming a teammate. I am the Skeleton King. Let the slaughter commence. Let us know in the comments if you have any great tips for how to get the most out of Leoric. We look forward to seeing what players can do with this undying warrior. Be sure to subscribe here on YouTube and follow us around the web for all current news about Heroes of the Storm. We'll see you in the Nexus.